So let me address this to Richard directly. Richard, from one fellow Canadian to another, please stop making these kinds of videos. They reflect so poorly on all vegans and only set back progress on animal welfare. Hey guys, and welcome back to another super fresh video with yours truly, the voice of reason, right here on YouTube, your vegan network, so let's just get right into this one, shall we? Now, I need to pick up some groceries today and decided it was time to make a Costco run, and I've decided to take you guys with me, but before we go, there were a couple of things I wanted to share with you concerning some videos that came up in my feed on YouTube this week. The first is regarding Vegan Gains' video about Furious Pete. Here we go again. He's done this before, so I wasn't completely surprised when this video came up in my feed. For those of you who don't know, Vegan Gains has blamed Furious Pete for bringing cancer upon himself because of what he eats. Now, this is such a no-no in my opinion. This goes way beyond that vegan couple are freely calling out big YouTubers for not following a vegan diet. So let me address this to Richard directly. Richard, from one fellow Canadian to another, please stop making these kinds of videos. They reflect so poorly on all vegans and only set back progress on animal welfare. You admit in your video, we can't know for sure that his diet is in fact the cause of his illness. But then you say his diet is contributing to his illness. How do you know? The fact is you don't. Even though there may be statistical evidence showing an association between diet and certain cancers, you cannot make a deterministic statement of certainty about any one person who gets cancer. That's not what statistics are designed for. Well-designed statistical studies at best can be used to make probabilistic statements and should never be used to make someone feel badly for getting a life-threatening illness. Look, Richard, you don't need to run these kinds of videos anymore. You're maturing here on YouTube and so should the nature of your content. Sincerely, Plant Eats. <laughs> Now, my next topic has to do with a little video Ryan from Happy Healthy Vegan put out on the weekend. He talked about a 2014 study conducted by the Austrian University of Graz, which showed that vegans and vegetarians have more mental disorders. Now, this study's been resurrected by social media because, well, who doesn't like to stick it to the hippies and the vegetarians, right? I can say that. I'm vegan. Now, according to the study, we as vegans and vegetarians get sicker more often and have higher rates of cancer. Scandalous! The study also shows we have more heart disease and are greater burdens on the healthcare system. Isn't that kind of the opposite of what we've been led to believe? The study is based on observational data. In other words, subjects weren't forced to eat a certain way and then compared to a control group. Controlled studies are required to make causal statements. In fairness, however, the researchers did make effort to control for things like gender, age, socioeconomic, smoking, and exercise. So this led the researchers to believe that they were able to focus in on and compare just diet. And their conclusions weren't favorable to vegetarians at all. In fact, big meat eaters were found to have the highest quality of life. Why doesn't that surprise me? The conclusions were that promises made by vegetarian organizations are not scientifically supported. And it was suggested that there is zero association between cancer prevention and eating fruits and vegetables. What? So how do I feel about these results? Well, honestly, when researchers say things like there's no association between health and fruits and vegetables, well, honestly, then I usually question the motives behind the study, which is something Ryan from Happy Healthy Vegan mentioned in his video. This study really doesn't worry me. But does that mean we should just ignore the results entirely? Of course not. Dr. Michael Greger and Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn have both reported that vegans get sick. And yes, vegans get heart disease just like everybody else. As someone who has studied and taught statistics, I'm not overly concerned about the findings of the Gras study. Observational studies cannot show causal relationships. And so being vegan or vegetarian does not cause anxiety or artery disease. Some vegans will obviously have artery disease or anxiety, but there is no established causal link, at least not shown in this study. I fully plan to continue to enjoy my healthy-esque vegan diet and will use the results of the Graz study as a reminder that I need to make my vegan diet as healthy as possible.
Hey guys, and I just returned from Costco, downtown Costco in Vancouver. Picked up some of my favorite foods I wanted to share with you here. I got these green peas for $10. This is like a two or three week supply of green peas for only $10. Also got the broccoli florets. The broccoli at, Co at Costco tends to be really good. Just watch the ends to make sure that they're nice and green. And they're quite crispy. The quality of broccoli at Costco is delicious. Also, I love the Kirkland walnuts. Get these on a regular basis. Royal Gala apples. I wish they had organic apples, but they don't, so whatever. I just wash them well. Fresh asparagus. Love the fresh asparagus. I think this was... How much was the asparagus? It was $6.50 for quite a bit. Also, I've never bought this before. This is the Sprouted Lentil Trio. So this is the lentils that have been sprouted, pre-sprouted. It was kind of expensive, more than I kind of realized when I left. I'm just noticing my bill. I paid $13.69 for that. It's a big bag and I know that they've been sprouted in advance. So I thought I'd give them a try. Love the ramen noodles. These are vegan. It's a big bag of them. It's such a good deal. These ramen noodles in, in this quantity were $12.99. And if you go into the regular grocery store and just buy one or two of these, they're like $3. So pretty good deal. Also, I got some organic lentil soup. I've never tried this before. What I noticed also too, which kind of made me happy, was that the lining of the can is BPA free. So anyway, I'll let you guys know how these taste. I think they're gonna be quite exciting. And also I got these organic medjool dates. These are like the, you know, sort of king of dates and they're normally really expensive. Normally you'll see them at Whole Foods or other places like that. But Costco sells these occasionally, this big, dose of them was only $11.99. It would be at least double that in a place like Whole Foods. Also, I got some Brussels sprouts. I often buy my Brussels sprouts frozen, but every now and then I'll buy them raw. So anyway, I'm kind of excited about that. These Brussels sprouts were pretty cheap. I spent a total of $4.99 on this pretty big bag. Also, I got some uh, sweet potatoes, yams. They're not my favorite kind of sweet potato. I really like the Japanese style better, but these are such a good deal that, you know, why not? And I love mushrooms, totally love mushrooms. The price of mushrooms at Costco cannot be beaten. And I got a big bag of steel cut oats, Bob's Red Mill steel cut oats. This big bag here was only $11.79. It's a huge 3.2 kilogram bag. Do you guys ever just eat the oats raw like this with something sweet because I do or nuts. I don't often cook them and I know people think that's strange but I just find them chewy and delicious. Also I got two bags of the squirrely sprouted wheat bread. This is my favorite bread. Apparently the sprouted wheat is, is supposed to be better. I don't know but I just really like it. And I got two bags for $6.49. On top of that I also got organic blueberries that are in the freezer. I don't feel like digging them out. And those were $15.99. Anyway, $145 for all of this, can you believe it? This food is gonna last me a long time and it's nutritious, delicious, and it's vegan. So vegans are figuring it out, guys. Costco is the place to shop. All right, guys, there's the video for today. Please share your comments down below. And if you haven't already, please go on over to Twitter and Instagram and start following me today. The links are in the description box below. Also, I'll be running a QA video coming up shortly, answering your questions. So please post your questions on Instagram and the top three best questions that I answer in my video will get a free Plan Eats Super Fresh t-shirt. So I look forward to seeing you all back here in a few days time for another Super Fresh video.